Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here ahead of a weekend. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. And uh, remember, folks, winter is coming. And for those of you who are in the snow removal business, uh, there's uh, going to be a salts shortage. So give them the call. Give them a call because they will have the best prices in town. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website is omnitruevalue.com, and they service the entire tri-state area. Also brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. And uh, a reminder, they're having for contractors, uh, those of you who want to either be in this business or are in this business, they're having an open house on Tuesday, October the 5th, between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., uh, head over to uh, 164 Ocean Avenue, Lindenhurst, and uh, the telephone number is 631-957-5106. So you can RSVP or you can RSVP on the website, liholidaylighting.com. So we have that low off the North Carolina coast that's starting to inch to the northeast. Uh, it's that comma shape. It's not quite a true tropical system. If you recall, uh, this was a tropical wave that interacted with a cold upper trough. So it kind of has a bit of a hybrid look as most systems do when they reach the mid latitudes. And we're seeing a little bit of convection blowing up this morning uh, to the northeast of the center. And so far, everything in terms of convection is to the northeast of the center. So we'll see what the hurricane center does with this. The bottom line though, for the east, is that it will accomplish two things. It'll get rid of this stationary boundary that's overhead, and that's going to be hanging around during today. And also, if you look up to the northwest and the western lakes, there's a bit of a cold front. Now, when it gets here, there's not going to be much with it, but uh, the strengthening system offshore is going to pull that front through and bring down some nice dry air here for Sunday and for the beginning of next week. So sometimes tropical systems can have an upside, depending on where you're located. So if you're looking forward to some lower humidity, just hang on a bit. It is coming. And here's what we see on the radar this morning. A little bit of light rain, mostly aloft in southern New Jersey and over the Delmarva Peninsula on the tail end of that, that coastal low. And that is gradually going to slide out to the southeast. I think what we're going to be seeing today is another one of these days where we have changeable sky conditions. It could be cloudy, but some areas might even go partly sunny for a little while. And I think there's the outside chance that there could be a shower or thunderstorm in some inland spots. But uh, other than that, I think for the most part, for most of you, it's going to be a dry day. And then it's going to get better as we head into the weekend. Now, the weather prediction folks, uh, bringing in some precip here in the next seven days, on the order of three, qu three quarters of an inch to about an inch, inch and a quarter, mostly north and west of the coast. We do have another cold front. The next one of importance that is coming is going to be for next Wednesday. And that uh, might have uh, the chance that we could see some stronger thunderstorms as it goes by, but it's also going to have another nice shot of dry air just in time for the arrival of autumn. So if we uh, look at look ahead at the upper air uh, in the eastern part of the United States, uh, you uh, can see the, from just a day or two ago, we had this approaching trough here in the east. Uh, the uh, low that develops it isn't really reflected well in the upper air, but as we go through the weekend, you'll notice a little short wave there that moves across southern Canada. So that pushes this cold front through here uh, for uh, late sa Saturday, Saturday night, we have a strengthening northwest flow that brings in that dry air for Monday. Then we have a ridge along the east coast for the beginning of next week. So we're going to turn warmer and more humid as we head into Wednesday. And here's that stronger trough for Wednesday. That's why I think that we have a shot here that we could see some strong thunderstorms when that front comes through. And then we're going to uh, watch that trough actually strengthen uh, in the northeast uh, late this coming week. And guess what? Another even stronger trough follows. So we're going into a very active period. The only thing I would point out is that uh, we need the tropics to stay quiet. Now, if we're going to get a trough this deep into the eastern part of the United States, what we don't want to see is a tropical storm uh, somewhere uh, in the vicinity off east of the Bahamas, for example, or making, making an approach there. And right now, 
I think we're okay with that. Doesn't look to me like we're going to have to deal with that. So as far as temperatures are concerned today, th thanks to clouds, we're probably going to be just in the uh, 70s uh, all day long. And uh, the uh, clouds will hold back uh, some of the sunshine. If you manage to get a little bit of sun, you could see your thermometers pop up uh, to 80. Then for Saturday, which is going to be a humid day, temperatures will be in the uh, lower 80s. We will have sunshine. Uh, again, it will be humid on Saturday with dew points in the mid-60s. But then by the time we get to Sunday, we're going to see uh, the temperatures uh, tail off just a little bit. But more importantly, the humidity is going to drop down with lots of sunshine. And uh, temperatures on Sunday will be mostly in the upper 70s to low 80s. We're going to hold on to that dry air for Monday and then start to turn more humid on Tuesday and set up for some showers and thunderstorms with a cold front next Wednesday. Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number there. And the uh, website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And their phone number is 631-957-5106. And the website there is liholidaylighting.com. As far as the Hurricane Center is concerned, uh, we are still seeing them watching a couple of uh, several disturbances. Of course, we have the one that's off the East Coast. Uh, they talked about it being a little better organized overnight. Again, uh, whether it becomes a tropical storm or not really makes no difference. It, it is going to be the mechanism to bring down some nice dry air for the second half of the weekend. There's another system out further to the east. Well, to the east, it's been there for days. It is not developed yet. And you can see the track is to the northwest. It still is forecast to have a 70% chance of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the weekend. So we'll keep our eyes on that. It doesn't appear to be very well organized at the moment. And there's another wave that's behind it. And this wave is uh, rather disorganized and the Hurricane Center only forecasting a 20% chance of that uh, system developing. So no Joe and Joe show tonight or Saturday, but we will be back on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So mark your calendars and hopefully we will see you then. Have a great day and a great weekend.